Welcome again everyone, my name is Chet and this is Chet Chet and we got another movie to talk about. I'm wearing an anime shirt to just talk about this one anime called Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale. Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale is a movie that takes place after all of the seasons of anime of Sword Art Online. I think there's three seasons. So if you didn't watch these three seasons of anime, I believe it's three seasons, you definitely should watch them before you watch the movie because it is intended to watch the anime before this movie. There's there are so many things that you need to know about the anime to fully enjoy this movie. You can probably enjoy it at face value, but ultimately you're going to be super confused. You should watch the anime first. That being said, you have to enjoy the anime as well. If you didn't like the anime, you watched all of it, you're probably not going to like the movie because it still has the same feel as the anime. Even the animation is up there with the anime because it is really good animation. So if you didn't enjoy that, you're not going to enjoy this. Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale actually it shows how the world evolved even more where these people have these advanced nerve gears from the anime and it's pretty much like a google glass where it, it, it's so embedded in everybody's life in their everyday life you can even play these augmented reality games and earn points that will actually give you prizes in real world so there was a scene where these people are sitting in a restaurant and they were playing a game and they won a prize and somebody brought out a piece of cake for them for free you got free cake for playing this game so obviously you can see the problems that can happen with this it's almost like Mega Man Battle Network where everything is online and you can do everything online and interact with people in augmented reality rather than virtual reality. So now you're putting your whole body at risk instead of just your brain like it was in the previous SAOs. And that's pretty much all I really want to say about the story because that's the main driving force to watch this movie. You just have this new thing with augmented reality and you can play games with it. Trouble ensues obviously with what you think and play by play. That's one of the main reasons I don't like this movie it's very formulaic of an anime movie where you have like your action scene in the beginning and then extremely slow build to an actual plot and then the final look at what we can do with this animation studio funny enough though is that there's so many action scenes in this but you're still just sitting there like i need the story i don't there's so much action what, what am i gonna do with all this action look at all this action here there's actually like three big action scenes in the first hour of the movie and then finally the story starts picking up and while we're waiting for the story to pick up everybody in the theater is like shuffling their seats adjusting themselves they're getting uncomfortable like it just goes to show that action doesn't always make a movie move you need you need some story to just keep your mind off the fact that you're sitting in a theater i actually came up with this analogy for sort out online order no scale all you gotta do is picture the coolest person you know and then see them slip on a banana right and then they fall down a flight of stairs they're looking like a jackass falling down like oh god no but at the bottom of the stairs they get up and jump do a tomahawk 360 dunk that's Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale. So if you want to see that, go ahead to the theaters. If you didn't watch Sword Art Online, you should definitely do that first. I like Sword Art Online, so I watched the movie. Well, that's it. You know what to do.